Let's explore length. And liquid volume. Length is a measurement of how far something is from end to end. Let's look at the units that can be used to measure length. You have inches, which are about the width of a quarter. There are feet. No, not the stinky kind. The measurement of a foot is about the height of one of your pocket folders. There are yards. A yard is about the height of your kitchen counter. Centimeter, which is the width of a staple. And there's meters, which is about the height from the floor to your doorknob. Some tools that we can use to measure length include rulers and tape measures. Harvey measured the length of his car. What is the best estimate of the length of Harvey's car? To solve problems like these, you want to think of objects that are similar measurements and then compare. We're looking for which of these measurements would be similar to the length of a car. 15 feet would be like 15 of your pocket folders lined up side by side. 15 inches would be like the width of 15 quarters lined up. That's not enough for the length of a car. Three feet would be about three pocket folders lined up side by side. A car is definitely longer than that. Now let's consider yards. Remember, a yard is like the height of your countertop in your kitchen at home. That would be like 15 countertops stacked up. That's way too long. So our answer must be 15 feet. That makes more sense for the length of a car. Let's check this one out. What number best represents the length of the cricket in inches? It starts at zero, goes past one, but only halfway between one and two. So it's one and a half. So our answer is one and a half inches. Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space something takes up. It can also be called capacity. Let's look at the units that can be used to measure volume. You have cups. A mug can hold about a cup of coffee. There are pints, like the size of a milk carton that you might see in the school cafeteria. There are gallons, like a gallon of water they sell at the store. Quarts, about the size of a sports drink. And liters, like the containers sodas come in. Some tools that can measure volume include measuring cups and measuring spoons. Let's try some volume problems. Wilbur fills his mug with coffee. About how much coffee will it take to fill the mug? For this problem, think about containers like those of milk that you are familiar with. A mug of coffee is one serving for a single person. Therefore, a gallon seems too big. So does a quart. That leaves us with two pints and one cup. If you think about the size of a coffee mug, it can only hold about a cup of coffee, so two pints would be too much. Therefore, our answer is one cup. This problem says, Mrs. Bernard bought a bottle of laundry detergent like the one shown in the picture, which is closest to the amount of laundry detergent Mrs. Bernard bought. Think about household items that you use. You could drink a cup of water. You could buy one of those big gallon jugs of water at the store. Well, this container looks too big to be one cup, but too small to be 10 gallons. 100 cups definitely seems like too much. Our detergent actually seems similar size to the gallon jug of water, so our answer would be one gallon. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Now, go try some problems of your own.